Guys, this is a very special video because we have been joined by a very special guest. We've got a moon in the background. I feel like he hasn't sat in the background of one of my videos for probably like years, but oh, he's moving. Oh no, he's just getting comfy. He's just sorting himself out. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. Today I am back with another video and this one is a bit of an old school video. I remember there was a big trend. Was it in 2017 or 2018? I don't know. There was a trend around that time where people would buy mystery boxes and unbox them on YouTube videos. I mean, people probably still do these, but I don't think it's so much of a trend anymore, but I don't care. I fancied doing another one. I did do one back in the day um, and it was really fun. So I fancied doing another one. This time I wanted to add a little twist to the video. So I have ordered four mystery boxes from Etsy. They're all makeup mystery boxes. And I wanna see if I can do a full face of makeup with whatever comes out of them. This kind of gives me similar vibes to my advent calendar series where it's like a mystery you don't know what you're gonna get but I've got to try and do my makeup with whatever I get give this video a thumbs up if you like this idea I can definitely do more of them I did think though after I ordered these that maybe during a pandemic it's not the best time to be ordering stuff like this so I'm gonna be extra careful I I'd be careful anyway but extra extra careful if something looks like it might have been used or anything like that I ain't gonna be putting it on my face I'm also gonna sanitize all of the packaging when I get it out and stuff like that I'm gonna be super careful very basically. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get on with it. So I'm going to start off with this one. This was £14, I think. This is what it looks like. It looks quite cute. And it says, I hope this makes you smile. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, this one, wholesome vibes. So I'm just going to take, oh, I'm just going to take the little bit of string off. Okay. Are you guys ready? Moon, are you ready? I think he's ready. Right, I'm gonna open it up. I'm excited. What's gonna be in? Oh, and there's a little freaking thank you letter as well. Okay, this is what I'm seeing so far. Let's open the little card. This person has put effort into it. So there's a little thank you card and it's, wow, they've written me an essay. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your order. I love putting these boxes together. It is so much fun. I hope you love what I've chosen for you and find some new favorite products. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Stay safe, Kim. Kim, you legend. That's so cute. Okay, first of all, got a little pack of sweets i mean we love sweets we've got some love hearts a little starburst i've also got a scrunchie <laughs> What is this? The Makeup Revolution Advent Calendar. Didn't they put a load of scrunchies in there? Flowers for bees, seeds. So in April to June. And there's like a little bum sake. <laughs> Why am I feeling like I'm going to cry? <laughs> there's like a little bumblebee stuck to it. This person is adorable. And now I'm going to get to the makeup. So let's have a look and see what we got. Oh yeah, these might not all be makeup products. That could make my full face challenge a little bit tricky. They could just be like beauty products, like skincare and stuff like that. I didn't think of that. Hopefully there's enough makeup for a full face. I don't even know. But the first thing we have is a pumpkin infused sheet mask. This is from the brand Beauty Pro. <gasps> We've got some fake lashes. Oh no, that means I've got to do fake lashes in the video. Oh no, Kim, what you done to me? Now I've got to do fake lashes. I suck at lashes. Um, but these look all right. These are by the brand K Lashes. Oh, are these like their own eyelashes? I'm thinking maybe they are because the, the seller was called um, K Boxes and these are the K Lashes. So I think they also have their own eyelashes. So these will be interesting to try. They just look like this. I've also got a lipstick. See, this is what I'm looking for. Things that are like sealed up. I can guarantee that this hasn't been used. Oh, it's by Rimmel and it's their Moisture Renew lipstick in the shade Sloan's Plum. I've also got, I've got a mascara. Are you gonna kick me out with a full face or... Okay, maybe not. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Um, I've got a mascara. This is by MUA. It's their Every Lash Volume and Lengthening Mascara. Again, it's sealed up. It's in packaging, so that is great. I've also got... Oh, I thought this was gonna be another mascara. It kind of looks like the packaging of that Maybelline mascara, like from back in the day that I used to use, but it's actually not. It's not even by Maybelline and it's not even a mascara. I have never heard of this brand. Shadows, shadow, shadows. I don't know how to say it. It's the Entice Cheetah Eyeliner. Oh no, that means we've got to do eyeliner. Ooh. Okay, so this is the Max Factor Color Elixir Lip Liner. This is in the shade Mauve Mistress. <gasps> Wait. So this person has also kind of matched the lipstick to the lip liner, sort of. Um. So yeah, again, it's sealed up. So that's good. 
I have a little brush as well. This is like a freaking mermaid. I don't actually know what I'd use this brush for. It's, oh, I just flicked it and a load of dust came off. That's, 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 that's interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'd use it for. I guess it's like a little eyeshadow brush. Nipple balm. Dr. Lip original nipple balm for dry skin, luscious lips and glossy bits. There we go, not exactly sure what to do with that. Probably won't test it in this video on my nips, you know, might be might be a little bit much for YouTube, but nipple balm, we love that. <laughs> what is this? This looks like a little nail polish. God, I can't get it out. Ah, I pulled its head off. So we've got a little purple nail polish. This is by the brand Saffron and this is their nail polish in the color purple cream. Oh my goodness. I think I have a full on palette here. I was not expecting that. I have never seen this in my life. This is the Revolution Under Your Spell eyeshadow palette. So it's like an eyeshadow palette. What am I trying to say? I literally... Um, whoa, those are some big chunky eyeshadows it kind of gives me vibes of like a face palette because the squares are quite big um so you've got a mixture of different shades got a mixture of different shades they're all shimmers so hopefully throughout these boxes i might have some kind of matte eyeshadow so i can do an actual look with this um but yeah they're all shimmers you've got some bronzy ones like some pinky ones a random kind of greeny blue color so there we go that is the first box we've just got some little bits of tissue paper in there i feel like it was quite a nice one how many products did i get so we've got 10 beauty products and then obviously like the little extra bits as well so i feel like for 14 pounds that's really not bad i think that's pretty good so mystery box number two is this one here this one was 17 pounds so just a little bit more than the other one but as you can see the box is a look fantastic beauty box so i'm thinking are they just getting this every month and kind of selling it at a slightly higher price i mean unless they also have look fantastic tissue paper it's looking like they're probably just reselling the box at a slightly higher price so i guess not much thought has gone into this one okay so the first thing i've got is a little sample this is the wishful gentle simple effective what the f are you <laughs> jelly moisturizer so a little sample of a moisturizer <laughs> we've also got a what i did not know this was a thing this is by the brand mud masky and apparently it's a blue oh oh no mooney's left us apparently it's a blue light protection mask what so this is a face mask that's meant to protect your skin from blue light which i guess is the light that comes from your phone comes from your laptop i mean this is a pretty big like full-sized product this is by the brand i actually have no idea i, I have no idea. professor herb this is a natural micellar water We've got a freaking Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is like a moisturizer. I've heard of it, never tried it because I'm pretty sure it's really expensive, but I know it's like very well loved. Like it's a really popular moisturizer from Charlotte Tilbury. A little one of those, wow. Okay, this is decent, but I need some makeup products, please. My face needs it. Okay, I see makeup, I see makeup. I mean, first of all, we got a little Vaseline. I mean, you can't go wrong. Little rosy lips Vaseline, very nice. Now we have some makeup. So this. This is the KVD Go Big or Go Home Mascara. I'm pretty sure I got this in like an advent calendar at some point. So we've also got two lipsticks from I Heart Revolution. These are their Lip Geek lipsticks. Um, we've got like a nudie one in the shade Is This All I Need? And then we've got more of like a corally one in the shade Just Have Fun. I've got another full on palette. Oh my goodness, this is so dusty. <laughs> Why are these things so dusty? This is again from I Heart Revolution. This is the Now That's What I Call Makeup eyeshadow palette. I've never heard of this either. The packaging is so cool. So let's have a look. Oh, oh my God, that's so freaking cool. I was gonna say, why are there loads missing? But I think it's supposed to kind of look like, um, <gasps> Oh 
Ignore the fact that one of them has a massive chunk out of it now, but I think it's supposed to look like sound waves, the way it kind of goes like that. And um, we've got a mixture of all sorts. We've got mattes, which is great. And we've also got some shimmers. Um, and we've got a lot of different colors. We've got some blue, some purple, some pinks. I've got like a little bag of random stuff. <laughs> it's like a mystery bag inside a mystery box. First thing we've got is a little lolly. Very nice. Um, we've also got a couple of lipsticks, I think. These are from the band, the band Band? No, I don't think so. These are from the brand Freedom. This one is like a really hot pink color. I don't think I would ever use this. Um, it's in the shade Candy Sweet. And we've also got more of like a nudie color. This one I probably really would use. This one's in the shade Mannequin. And then also in the little bag, I've got a few eyeshadows. These are also from the brand Freedom. I've got a really shimmery bronze one. I've got a really shimmery green one. And then I've also got a sort of white. This is a, oh, this is a Primark eyeliner. So just a little black coal pencil from Primark. And then we've got a little lip pencil as well. This is by the brand Catrice. This is their velvet matte lip pencil and it's in the shade Rags to Roses. It kind of looks like the shade of lip pencil that I would normally use. The box is still going. There's more under here. Um, These are a couple of lip masks, I think. Yeah, these are from the brand Daralis never heard of it but these are the cranberry moisturizing lip masks they look cute look at the packaging they look so cute what are these oh are they like little under eye masks i bet they are but there's no info on it at all like i don't know what the brand is i don't know what it's called oh some more got some more of them so we've got a little face mask this packaging is funky this is from the brand bling pop and it's their aloe face mask and there we go that is everything in this mystery box i feel like this one was really good there were so many products wait how many did i get in this one i don't know if i've counted correctly but i think about 19 products and a little lolly so you definitely get a lot in there i'm gonna go for this one next this is mystery box number three but it's more of a mystery bag but who knows it might be really good we're not going to judge it till we've looked inside um it was actually the cheapest though this was only 10 pounds let's have a look and see what's inside oh i have already opened it because when it arrived i didn't realize it was one of the mystery boxes i thought it was something else that i've ordered but as soon as i opened it and saw that there was makeup i closed it i haven't looked at what i've actually got but yeah that's why it's already kind of opened i'm just gonna start pulling things out and see what we've got This is not off to a good start. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Can you guys see? It's a freaking tester. So the fact that there's a tester label on it is a little bit concerning. You can tell as well, like it's all battered. It's not very nice packaging. Why would you put that in a mystery box? Would you not at least take the, the tester label off? Like this person ain't even trying to hide it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Coral Sass. Funnily enough, I ain't gonna be putting this on my lips. This is gonna be going straight in the bin. I don't even wanna know how many people might have swatch this in a store i swear if these are all tester products okay this one doesn't have a tester label on it but i instantly don't trust any of this now i feel like all of it could be used this is by the brand w7 it's their mega matte lips in the shade hasta la vista is like a red colored liquid lipstick so another lip product Another lip product. This is the NYX Power Puff Lippy uh, in the shade Squad Goals. So another liquid lipstick. This is kind of like a nudie shade. Oh, my top's fallen off. Another liquid lipstick. Okay, this ain't great, is it? Um, This is the Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color. This one is in the shade As If, and it's another sort of nudie shade. It's another lip product. <laughs> This is the W7 I Heart Candy Lip... Oh no, this is a lip gloss, but it's still another lip product. Um, this one is in the shade Cherry Lolly. It's like a kind of shimmery lip gloss. Um, it's kind of like a burgundy colour, I guess. Oh, hello. I mean, it's another lip product, but this is a Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. I think it's a lip gloss. Oh no, it's a liquid lipstick in the shade Dazed. Um, It's kind of like a, they're all very much like a similar sort of shade. You know what I mean? 
I was gonna say, yay, it's something different. It's not a lip product, but we all know how I feel, A, about green, and B, about glitter. So I don't think I'm gonna get much use out of this. This is a NYX Glitter On The Go Sparkling Glitter Powder. Oh, it's been opened as well. You can see that the thing has been opened. The sticker has been ripped. So yeah this one's in the shade sour apple i think these are all used products so i think i'm gonna avoid all of them from this little bag there is one more thing in here is it gonna redeem itself it's in like a little um bag it's gonna have to be something pretty epic to redeem itself i'm expecting like my money back <laughs> imagine that you just open it and there's a tenner in there and they're like sorry i just suck at this <laughs> Okay, so we've got a little NYX eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Frosted Lilac. It's like a little shimmery lilac. We've got a Body Shop eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Something Blue. Um, it's just a matte blue eyeshadow from the Body Shop. Very nice. I would never use a color like that. Although I tell you what, it would go quite nice with my top. <laughs> oh, little angel is back. We missed you. We missed you, we did. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, one of them's a tester, so I felt that doesn't even count. So we do get 10 products in there. So 10 pound, 10 products, but I don't think I'm gonna use any of those. I just get really bad vibes. And finally, we have mystery box number four. If you're wondering why my address isn't on any of them, all of the boxes came in like another box that I've already got it out of and gotten rid of. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This one was the most expensive one. It was 30 pounds, so yeah quite a bit more than the others. So it'll be interesting to see if it's better. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. We've just got some little cards. Okay, let's have a look inside. Ooh. I'm hoping there's stuff under the packaging because at the moment it looks like there's only two products in there. So the first thing that we've got is a W7 Prismatic highlighter palette yay because so far we didn't have a highlighter so we've got four different shades in there we've got a sort of pinky one a purple one a blue one and a kind of yellowy toned one we've also got a face mask i feel like most of them have come with a face mask this is the nip and fab dragon's blood fix hydration mask got some more skincare this <laughs> got some more skincare this is the elemis plumping pillow facial so this is like a little sleep mask so we've got a little hair product this is by the brand percy and reed and it's a finishing polish for your hair I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but they are covered in dust. Maybe it's just coming off of this. This is the Molten Brown Tobacco Shower Gel. Okay. I don't really know what it smells like. Not my favorite scent. Alex just got home, so Moon just went flying off to see him. Um, we've also got another dusty product. We've got a little nail polish. This is by the brand Nails Inc. This one is in the shade Mockham Street. Ah, oh, we got a little star. I think this is just a little, yeah, a little bath fizzer. I have no idea what brand it's from. It doesn't say, but it's just a little pink star. So next we have a lipstick. This is by the brand Lord and Berry. I've never heard of that, but it's their twist stick this one's in the shade on stage oh my goodness that is a bright red wow this is the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner um this one is in the shade amber i think it's like a bright orange liquid liner which oh my what is all this stuff on all of the products and then we've also got a mascara this is a two-faced one so again a pretty good brand this is the better than sex mascara i don't know if i've ever tried this and that is it. Oh my goodness. What is going on? That is it. That is everything in this little box. I can't say I was overly blown away by that one. So we got 10 products in here. So yeah, for 30 quid, 10 products. I think this one's maybe not the best for your money but there were some kind of more expensive brands in there well a couple of them were i want you guys to comment down below which one you think was the best mystery box number one number two number three or number four i think we all know what the winner is i think number three was clearly the best one but yeah i think my favorite was probably number two to mm. i think number one was the most wholesome and you could tell they put the most effort into it number two you got the most for your money uh number three was the worst and number four was just okay i'm now gonna insert the clip that i'm gonna film tomorrow where i try and do a full face of makeup with everything that i got in the mystery boxes i don't know if there's enough for a full face i'm pretty sure there's so much that we're missing but i'm gonna see if i can make a decent 
look wish me luck <laughs> right i've gathered together all of the makeup from all of the mystery boxes combined apart from number three number three is not going on my face although i was thinking i should have opened up the tester thing just to see if it actually looked used i'll do that in a sec let's have a look I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to tell. It's not like there's going to be a sign on it saying this has been used, but I'm just getting vibes like that's been used. You can tell that's been pumped a few times because the product is all up the wand. I don't know. I, I mean, it's a tester. It's obviously been like in a shop and people have swatched it or whatever. I, I still can't believe that they'd put that in there. Like, I'm honestly a little bit shocked. Like, have I technically been scammed? I guess I kind of have. I feel like this is someone who just wanted to make an easy tenner and they're just selling bags of their used products to try and make a bit of money. So this one was a cheeky little scam so none of these products are going to be in this full face section i'm not going to be putting them on my face but luckily all of the makeup from the other mystery boxes seemed like it was brand new none of it seemed used a lot of it is still in its cellophane so i trust all of these products as you can probably tell i've already done my foundation concealer and powder i thought i'd do this a bit like the advent calendar ones and obviously in those i never include foundation concealer and powder in the challenge because they'd never put them in an advent calendar because they wouldn't know your shade oh my goodness it feels like christmas me saying that line so i thought i'd do this one the same way because obviously in a mystery box they ain't gonna know your shade either so yeah i've already done those but everything else i've got to use these products and i'm seriously gonna have to improvise with some of them for example number one i want to do my bronzer do we have a bronzer absolutely not so i think i'm just gonna try and use an eyeshadow for my bronzer i can already tell this makeup look is gonna be an absolute mess but i'm gonna take the I Heart Revolution, now that's what I call makeup eyeshadow palette. So I think the only matte brown shade is this one here. So I'm just going to take somehow a little bit of this. I'm just going to kind of wiggle my brush in there without getting any of the colours on it. Got a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to see if I can do a bit of contour with this. I, I, I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, it's not blended out too bad. This side needs some work. Yeah, this looks really good, doesn't it? This looks really good. And this is the first thing as well. We're already failing at the first hurdle. It's okay. I feel like with a bit of help from my sponge, I should be able to blend this out. And I'm just gonna... So yeah, I I probably could have done with a little bit less. Just, just a little bit less. Dab it out, dab it out. It actually blends out quite easily. So I feel like I've kind of managed to fix it so now i'm gonna move on to blush did we get a blush no we didn't so yet again i'm gonna have to improvise with an eyeshadow but i feel like this one might be a bit easier i'm gonna take the revolution under your spell eyeshadow palette and i think i'm just gonna take this shimmery pink i feel like that should technically work as like a shimmery blush let's try a little bit of this i think it's working I, oh that is really shimmery i tell you what though it is a very light pink i feel like you guys can probably barely see it it probably just looks like shimmer it's given me a nice bit of highlight though i'm now going to move on to highlighter which we do have we actually do have a highlighter product so we've got the w7 prismatic 3d highlighting palette and i think i'm just going to take this shade here i mean i'm definitely highlighted enough from that eyeshadow but let's just oh my goodness wow Look at that. I haven't said that in a while, have I? Who remembers when I used to always say, look at that, whenever there was like a snazzy highlighter. Look at that. It's kind of got like a greeny tinge to it. So um, I probably should have gone for the pinky highlighter. Why? Why did I go for this one? I don't even know, but we've done it now. Um, yeah, it's got like a green reflective look to it, but it's definitely a very intense highlighter, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. Do we have a brow product? No, we don't. Um, I kind of get that though. It's another thing that's a bit tricky to put in these boxes because you obviously don't know the person's eyebrow shade. I think I'm gonna take the same shade that I used for the bronzer on a little brush and just kind of try and fill them in a bit with a powder. <gasps> I just wished my hand in there ow oh no that is way too warm toned there isn't anything else that i can really use i guess i could mix it in with a little bit of the black shade just to try and like cool it down this is not going very well okay i've done my eyebrows and to be fair i don't think they look that bad a little bit dark definitely but oh and a little bit blocky definitely a little bit wonky definitely but they don't look that bad <laughs> 
Um, I'm now going to move on to eyeshadow. I think I'm going to take this one again. This has got like the best variety, the best variety of eyeshadows. So what should we go for? I think I'm going to go for like a ready pinky look. So I'm going to kind of go down this strip here. I'm going to start off with the matte brown, who is basically acting as everything in this video. You're my bronzer, you're my eyebrows, you're my eyeshadow. You are everything. What would we do without you? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of fallout. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that through my crease. I have got my eye tape on today because my eyes were like extra, extra hooded. So hopefully this works. How did I just do that? I literally just went from zero to a hundred, okay. I need to blend. I'm now just gonna take a bit of this matte red and I'm just gonna go over that. So I'm just putting a bit of the red through my crease as well, it looks awful i'm not gonna lie it looks really bad i'm so bad at eyeshadow i actually couldn't tell you the last time i did eyeshadow and now i'm just gonna take a bit of this like shimmery pink color and i'm just gonna put that on my lid okay that is a very bright pink i didn't expect it to be so bright i think that's probably the best i can do for my eyeshadow let's not talk about it i'm now gonna move on to some eyeliner which is just gonna mess things up even more because i'm so bad at eyeliner but this is the shed Doe's shadows. I still don't know how to say it. Uh, Entice Cheetah Eyeliner. This is impossible to use. It's like so skinny and so floppy. There's just no control. Okay, I've done some little eyeliner wings. I feel like they don't look too bad. So I got quite a few mascaras in these boxes. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. This is the MUA Every Lash Volume and Lengthening Mascara. Mainly gonna use this one because it's the only one that's got like a seal on it. Oh, you kidding me. It didn't make a single sound. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like a decent one. Not too big, not too small. I like it. Just gonna wiggle that onto my eyelashes. Okay, I'm struggling to get it to do anything. It feels like it's not really getting any product on the brush. Like no matter how many times I dunk, it comes off and there's like nothing there. So I'm gonna have to go in with a bit of this one as well because this just looks like nothing. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Let's try it. Okay, that one has a fat wand. I can already say it is adding a little something. Yeah, I really struggle with those mascaras, but we do have some lashes that I'm gonna put on at the end. But first I'm gonna do my lips. So for my lip liner, I'm gonna take this one. This is the Catrice Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade from Rags to Roses. It's just like a kind of pinky nude color. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on. I tell you what, it is applying so nicely, like it's really creamy. And then for my lipstick, I'm gonna take this Freedom Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. It's just like a nudie color. I don't know how well it's gonna go. They're not really gonna go, but I'll try and blend them together. This one has another little opening thing. Let's see if this one makes a nicer sound <laughs> or just any sound would be good. Okay, you ready? So yeah, this is just like a typical light brown nudie shade. I mean, it's okay. Does that look okay now? I feel like that actually does look quite nice. Like that's a nice little lip combo. Finally, I'm gonna try and add some fake lashes. These are the K lashes. They just look like this. So I'm gonna go and do this off camera. You know how it is. I cannot do my eyelashes on camera. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Hopefully this works. <laughs> okay, I've stuck the eyelashes on as always. Not perfect, but they had a nice thin band and it was quite flexible. So I feel like for me, this isn't too bad. Like anyone who knows me will know this is not too bad. So yeah, this is my finished makeup look. I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Like I was expecting this video to go so much worse. So yeah, I don't think it looks too bad, especially seeing as we were missing a lot of products and like 90% of this is eyeshadow. This is my makeup done. This is my full face of makeup with random mystery box makeup. Hopefully none of it was used otherwise you know well, whatever it's on my face now isn't it i can't go back that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun filming this like it's so fun unboxing mystery things when you don't know what you're gonna get so if you do want me to do more of these give this video a big thumbs up to let me know thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon goodbye